Good afternoon, this is Jason Culp with North Technologies. Today I'm going to run you through creating an ADA ramp based off a template. Uh, we're going to automatically adjust our curbs, uh, the top curb, bottom of curb, uh, as well as the gutter to go ahead and accept the elevations that we have from the curb that we put in. First thing we're going to do is we're going to use a tool called Dynamic Sidewalk or it's listed as our island sidewalk tool. Uh, this is in the NOR tools that comes with uh, the package that we give to anybody that partners with us. Uh, these are specialty tools developed by NOR themselves. Uh, so they're not available other than just for people that partner with us. Um, the reason I'm using this tool right now is to just kind of show you, we're going to go ahead and create these feature lines. All right, So this is how this ADA curb is going to work is based off of feature lines. Now you can see that we have feature lines here where we have the edge metal, uh, gutter line, top of curb, back of curb. Um, and then in here what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure that those are uh, applied to the surface. You can see that one of them is already applied to the surface which would be my edge of metal that we based all the uh, other measurements off of. So at this point we've got our curb in there made of feature lines and if I turn on the surface here you can see that we have a, a solid surface all the way around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pre-made uh, block that we created for our ADA ramps. You notice that we have our little wings out here um, and then we also have the ones that are going to go straight down to the gutter. So if you look here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to snap this into the back of curb. Obviously now that we have to rotate this uh, if you want to get really fancy, you can set these dynamic blocks up so that they will auto-rotate when you get close to a line. Um, so in this uh, quick tutorial, I didn't really feel the need to uh, go through that whole process. So we move those over to the wing, uh, the back of curb there, the little wings. Um, so now those are going to stay at the standard height of the back of curb. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to stretch out our lines uh, all the way to the gutter. Okay. So what we want is we want those lines to pick up the elevation of the gutter so that they'll pull that curb down and create your dub downs for you. And then your wing walls are going to hold that curb up so that it doesn't uh, pull the rest of the curb down with it. Now you'll see that we extended those out to the face of the curb because we want the face of the curb to stay at the top elevation as well. Um, and then now what we're going to do is <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick these lines and make sure that they're on the correct site. Now sites is the key here. That's where we're going to uh, find the difference between uh, the elevations and how they're going to take on the standards of the elevations. Um, so in here, we're going to go ahead and it asks you to assign elevations. Um, we've already got an elevation associated with those because they're feature lines and when we snap to them they took on the elevation of that uh, feature line. Now you'll see that we're going to go ahead and move those uh, two lines that go all the way down to the gutter. We're going to move those to the same site that the uh, gutter is on. So now it should take on the elevations of the gutter. And if you look over on the right hand side, you can kind of see the, the dots there. Once I apply those all to the surface and I go ahead and regenerate that surface, you'll see that how it, uh, it adjusts that surface based on those feature lines being on the same site now. So now we're just going to go ahead and uh, dictate what surface they go to. We're going to change the mid-ordinance distance because we had a few curves in there. So we wanted to tighten up the curve a little bit, make it a little more uniform. Now if you look, you can see the surface changed, all the tin models and whatnot. If you look on the right-hand side, you can see the surface pulled down. 